What's going on, you guys? So we're just going to do a quick review of this uh, Galaxy Z Flip 5. Um, I'm a little bit hungover today, so just bear with me. Uh, I had one, one, one too many last night. As you get uh, as you get older, it's harder and harder to recover every uh, in the morning if you go a little bit too hard. Thankfully, I um, I just moved in with my uh, with my girl a few months ago, and she doesn't drink at all. And I'm a I'm a tend to be a pretty pretty heavy drinker if I'm left to my own devices. So she's been kind of really helping balance me out. And uh, it's been, uh, I felt super nice, man. I felt super good about it. Super, super healthy. So anyway, um, so this, I, I, I'm just doing a couple of these videos. My, uh, I get these phones anyway. I play with all these phones anyway. Um, I, I, I end up buying these things to use for myself because because I, I, I love them. I'm a big nerd when it comes to these phones. And my uh, my buddies and my girl are like, why don't you why don't you record a review or why don't you do something or, or you know why don't you put some on video? Why don't you do something? Um, so I'm like, all right, well I'll record a couple of these videos and throw my thoughts down and and uh, kind of see if you guys like it. And if you don't, then you don't have to watch it. So I'm kind of I'm gonna break this phone down. I was using this phone for about three weeks. Uh, I got it when it first came out. Um, so. Uh, the important specs on this thing are it's got a 6.7 inch uh, inner screen uh, and a 3.4 inch outer display. So this year it's got a full outer display that is completely functional and completely usable. I love that. That is that is super cool. Um, so there's a 10 megapixel selfie on the inside and uh, there's a 12 megapixel dual main camera on the outside. Uh, phone's got eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 or 512 uh, gigabytes storage, uh, 3,700 milliamp battery, and it's running Snapdragon 8 second generation. So um, as far as the first thing first, uh, the unboxing of it uh, is nothing. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing in the box. Uh, you guys already know. I don't even have to say anything about this. They don't give you anything in the box now anymore. They just give you a, this. This thing is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So this is what you get in the box. Nothing. The phone comes out. Um, this is a... I might kind of start ranting a little bit. But my... Uh, man, everything... Every year it gets smaller and, and the box gets smaller, you get less and you pay more. Every single year uh, this happens with all the products, man. I was just, uh, so recently, I'll tell you guys a story. I was, my girl and I were in the Costco and I, uh, they used to have, um, I don't know if you guys have Costco where you're at or Sam's Club, but when you check out, you have all your items, right? And at Costco, they're, they're all like bulk items. So when you check out, um, they, they, they would have these big boxes of like, like orange boxes or apple boxes, like the big cardboard boxes that you could put your individual items into. Cause Costco doesn't have bags, like plastic bags, but they had these cardboard boxes. You could put all your groceries into and then take the big box. So anyway, our Costco over here stopped, stopped having these big boxes. So now you have all your groceries and now you're going out with it. And I've been bitching about this. And I uh, I truly feel like I'm about 95 years old because I've, I've been bitching to my girl every time we go to the Costco. I go, the prices are higher on everything. The packages are smaller. You get less for what you pay for. And now they don't give you the box. So I'm running around this Costco looking for all these boxes when we're leaving and trying to find one because I'm like, you know what? I used to get the boxes. I want the same service. I'm going to get the box today. So I'm running around trying to find these stupid ass, dumb ass boxes. And I'm telling you guys, this is so stupid of me. And I can picture myself being 85 years old uh standing outside on my porch screaming at the kids on my lawn but the bo the, the moral of the story is you pay more and you get less this box is nothing you get nothing in the box and what i don't understand i, I and this is I'm getting into my own opinions here, but it's like years ago for the same price of the phone when the phone came out, you could you got a charger, a cable, headphones and the box. And now they're saying it's for whatever, you know, environmental, whatever. The box is smaller. You get just a phone. It costs the same. So how were they able to give me a charger? And a, anyway, and now they can't give me shit but the phone. Anyway, nothing comes in the box. Give me your money. Give me a thousand bucks. Here's your shitty ass box and you'd be on your way. Okay, so that's the unboxing. Um, as far as the display... Um, the display, the, 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 pretty much the only note I have on here for the display is that the brightness is just kind of meh. So when you're outside, I, guys, the word of the day on this phone, I think the word of the day today is going to be mid, right? And because once you get past the factor, which, which is really the reason you're going to buy this phone is the flip factor for whatever reason you like it, whether cause it makes it more compact or, uh, cause you like the look, cause you like the feel, um, 
the specs on this thing and everything else is going to be mid, all right? And I've been using that word mid because I'm trying to fit in with the with the young kids, with the cool kids. And uh, um, like that, what was that meme, that Steve Buscemi meme where, hello, kids, fellow, fellow, fellow kids. So my, my girl's like, are you saying mid? I said it about a recipe once I made. I cooked up something and I was like, man, this shit just tastes mid. And she was like, did you just say mid? And I was like, yeah, mid. And so um, she's like, what are you too old to be saying that? Anyway, so... I, uh, everything about this phone is just kind of mid. So the display is, is, is nice. It feels, one thing I will say about this, um, it kind of feels thin. It feels thin in my hand. It's a 6.7 inch screen. And I don't know if it's because of the bezels or if it's because of my own perception of it for whatever reason, but the phone, j the screen feels thin. And I'm not saying that by the numbers. I'm not saying, cause 6.7, um, and I think like the Vivo, uh, had the and the Xiaomi 13 had a 6.73 inch screen and those that Vivo was probably the most perfect feeling phone I've held in my hand um, the X90 Pro Plus anyway this thing it, it's nice it'll get you there but it just it feels kind of thin so the display is cool no problems the brightness is just kind of meh when you go outside it's but but it's going to get you exactly where you need to be the biometrics uh, again, mid. I'm, uh, you know, I'm used to these biometrics on these Chinese phones, and I feel like I'm kind of spoiled by it. Um, the folding phones, the like the Xiaomi biometrics and the Vivo biometrics. I can't even, I can't even demo them. Like when I go to demo them for my girl, I, as soon as I look at the phone, it open. It's already open. It's in the menu. This thing is kind of slow. The fingerprint sensor is, it's okay. Uh, it's, it'll get you in there. It's, it's not going to break any world speed records. All right. Put it that way. And certainly the face unlock isn't going to break any, any speed records either. And what, what ended up happening is, um, I was actually using my iPhone, uh, 14 pro max, uh, when I needed to like quickly, if I, if I needed to hop into my bank account real quick or something, I would use my iPhone, uh, uh pro max. Cause the biometrics on that thing, I, I don't know how they did it. Well, I know how they did it. Cause, cause they're optimized for Apple. Um, everything works so perfect. I just, you know, I look up at it and it logs me in and I'm already in there to where this I'm having to mess around with my, with my, with my fingerprint. I'm having to mess around with the face unlock, maybe enter a pin, whatever, whatever. So it works. Um, but it's not, it, it, it's not breaking any speed records. Um, the sound on this thing, the sound is fine. Um, again, it's not breaking any world records. Uh, the sat, the, the external speakers on this are, are, are fairly loud. Um, we could try to play something. Um, I don't know if I'm even allowed to play that or whatever, but, um, so the sound, it sounds good. Um, the external speakers are good. The Bluetooth speakers are good when you hook up your, when you hook up your headphones to it. Um, they're, they're everything's going to sound fine. It's not the loudest. It's not the best. It's not the top of the top flagship, but that's kind of the story with this phone is you're getting this for the form factor. You're getting this because it flips and because it opens and because it closes, right? You're not getting it because it's got the top of the line specs or because it's going to be the best in class for any given thing. Okay. So as far as the camera, um, Camera's basic shots, not going to blow anything out of the water. The selfie cam, I don't even barely use. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, it's not, it's whatever. Um, one of the cool things is, is that you can use, uh, because it folds, you can use the selfie cam. Uh, you can use the main camera as your selfie camera to take pictures. And that's kind of cool um, because it gives you the best camera and it's kind of easier to hold. So when you stretch it out or when you hold it out or whatever, like when my girl and I would be downtown or something and I'm holding it up, um, it, it's kind of cool. It feels nice in the hand because it's smaller. Uh, it's not cumbersome. Like when I'm trying to, uh, you know, if I got this fold and I'm trying to use the, the rear camera or the, the, the main screen on it, it's kind of hard to hold. This thing is nice. Um, uh, and I thought it was a really cool feature uh, th that I'm just able to use this main camera as my selfie camera because it gives you big, better selfie pics because this uh, th this camera that's in here is, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so as far as the, I have like a play factor of it because I use this for my, in my personal life and I have a work factor to it because I'm also, I'm in sales and I mostly work on my phone. So I travel a lot and I do a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of, you know, emails and phone calls and text messages and meetings and all kinds of things on my phone and Dropbox and Excel and all that and going over forms. And so I, um, I, I use my phone for work a lot. So, but I also use it as my personal phone and I love these things and I'm, uh, you know, I'm interested 
interested in him. So that's kind of how I broke it down too. So I think uh, as far as this phone is concerned, this has the most wow factor out of all of the phones. And I personally, this is kind of, I'm a vain guy, right? So for me, I like when people ask me about my phone, whenever I'm walking around with a folding phone or a flip phone, I'm always getting asked about it. If I'm sitting at a bar or something, if I'm sitting at a restaurant, hey, what's that phone? Is that that new fold? And I go, nah, man, it's not the new fold. It's the new Xiaomi. You see, you're not even going to find this thing in the States, baby. You know what I mean? So it's all right. It's all right. So, but this thing to me has kind of the most wow factor and, I, and I'll say why. I'll tell you why. So when, when you have a folding phone, um, when it's folded closed, when you're using it as regular, as a regular phone, it looks like a regular phone, right? And then you unfold it and it's got that wow factor. Oh, wow. It unfolded, right? It opens up into a big tablet. But when it's closed, it looks like a regular phone. Well, this one looks a little more narrow than a regular phone, but it looks like a regular phone. So there is a wow factor. It's a massive wow factor once you get to opening it and flipping it around and all that. But when it's closed, it looks like a regular phone. This thing, when it's closed, it looks tiny. Right. So it already has a wow factor when it's closed. So so sitting on the table, it's like, wow, what is that? Is that your phone? Because because another person's regular phone is looking like this. Right. It's big, whatever. And your phone is looking tiny. Right. So it's got a wow factor already there. And then when you flip it open, pow. Right. It, it it's it's sick. Right. Oh, did you just flip that open? Yes. Yes. OK. So I love I absolutely. And I'll probably end up saying this again. I love flipping this phone open and closed. I love that. I, I, it feels so good. It brings me back to the days of the old Razor. The old Razors when I used to feel like hot shit when you had them and they were like pink, silver, black. I love flipping this phone open and and uh, and shutting it closed, right? For my phone calls. What's up? What's up? So uh, as I went on, at first, I really didn't, uh, I didn't like how small it was because I normally like the bigger uh, slabs. I like the big slab phones. Um, uh, you know, they feel good. They feel rigid. They feel sturdy. I feel like I can, you know, throw them around a little bit. Uh, so I normally like the big slabs like the S23 ultra, um, or even the, the, the iPhone. I'm not a big iPhone guy. Um, but, but, um, but even the iPhone feels so nice. It's like the best feeling phone. Um, but this thing started to cut. So at first I didn't really like it because of how small it was, but it started kind of, it, it kind of started to grow on me. Um, you know, just something about it, just something about how it feels, you know, we're being sitting at a restaurant or whatever and it's like take a picture of my girl close it get up and get ready to go and slip it in your pocket and it's so smooth it, it, it's so compact and it's so like like smooth and it's so stylish it just feels stylish you know um so i started to really like it first i didn't like how small it was but as time went on i really started to like how uh, small and compact it was and the one other thing i will say um in the as far as the personal and the play um for running i'm a big runner i run um, I was running. This thing has been so sick in a way that I really didn't even anticipate or think about when I was buying it. And that is, is I, you open this thing up, you clip it on your shorts in between your, in between your stomach and your, uh, outside of your shorts, clip it on there tight and you're running. So one thing I hate, and this is, I'm going to not go off on a tangent again. And this is just a personal, personal preference, personal opinion. I, um, I don't like having stuff on me. When I used to live back home in Colorado, I was always trail running, I was hiking, and I was always trying to find ways to have the least amount of things on me as far as like, like for running, I use a flip belt, right? Um, that thing is sick. It stays on and you can put your, you can even put a water in it. You can put, uh, you know, a snack in it. You can put your phone in it. Uh, th th these guys aren't even paying me and I'm, I'm, I'm repping their product. So, um uh, I, I love, I love the foot belt and that's what I normally use for running. That's about as minimalist as it can get. I hate holding my phone in my hands. And again, when I was trail running and, and hiking back home, I hated having a big old backpack on. I hated it. I, I, I just, I, the, I wanted to, to get up in the morning, throw some shorts on, throw a tank top on and go run. So this thing has allowed me to not even carry my flip belt. If I'm going out for like a 10 mile run where I, you know, may not need any water, or if I need a little bit of water, I'll throw a, uh, you know, I'll throw a case on this thing and put a, you know, $20 bill inside of the case and, and clip and, and stick it on there and go and clip this onto your pants and just go. And that has been so nice. And I know it sounds, it might sound trivial for a lot of you guys, or if you guys aren't big into running or, or exercising or whatever, that part has been sick. And it's been sick to have this main screen, even though it's small, 
I got a love-hate relationship with this main screen. I love that it's fully functional this year. That's the reason I hopped on the, the, the flip phones this year. Uh, I wasn't on any of the flip phones except for this year I hopped on because they finally did the big outer screen. And I love how you can access everything with it. I love how you can go into your YouTube and play your YouTube videos with it. And, you know, I absolutely love that. Um, and all on the main screen. So for working out, Look at that. There's a catfish thing. I might have to, I'm going to have to watch that as soon as I start working here. Oh man, Danny White, D D Dana White's talking about Tony Frick. Okay. Okay. I got to watch a bunch of these videos when I, when I go to work. So anyway, but you can throw everything on. Um, you can throw everything on your main screen here. And at first, uh, what you guys need to do real quick, um, I'm not going to go crazy into this, but you guys need to go into your, uh, you guys need to go into your Galaxy store and download a uh, good lock. If you get this phone, download um download good lock and then when you go into your good lock i gotta find it i i'm on a different phone now when you go into your good lock you need to go into your lock star okay and you can download uh multi-star and lock star you can just when you go into good lock you got these apps right here and you can you can hit download and it'll download them to your phone um you want to get lock star and um you can turn on your, uh, look at that, theme park. There's a banana. But you can turn on your uh, your screen so that you uh, you have a full launcher with all the apps. Because when this thing comes out of the box, uh, this thing's not going to give you all the apps on this screen. Uh, it's going to give you a few of the apps. And you see I'm running Good Lock Launcher right here. Um, so if you go through good lock, it'll allow you to have every app on here. And this says, you know, it pulls it up and obviously it's a small screen. It's a 3.4 inch screen. So you're not going to be doing a whole lot, of, a whole hell of a lot on it, but it's cool. It's, it's cool to have. It's something extra, right? It's something, it's another thing. Um, so anyway, that was a little tangent, but for working out, I love this little screen for having my timer on or for having my music on or for having my YouTube videos on when I'm working out. And I love, love, love it. I love it for running. Um, so I love it for that. So, as far as work, I only got a couple things. Um, the the battery life, I didn't like on this phone. I found myself, I'm a power user of these phones, and I found myself having to charge this thing uh, two times a day, maybe three times a day. Now, granted, I'm not letting it run to zero before I charge it, so your mileage may vary. You might have you know a full day with this phone um, um, if you're not using it a whole lot. Uh, but for me, I was charging it like twice a day, so I didn't like the battery life on it. But then again, I always, I, you know, I have my always on displays on and I'm running my phone at full brightness. I'm running live wallpapers because uh, I, I, I like to get the most I can out of these products that I pay for. Um, so I, I wasn't a huge fan of the battery life, but you know, you can tell that with the 3,700 milliamp hour uh, battery. Um, uh, that it's not going to be the best. Uh, but anyway, I wasn't a huge fan of that. So uh, the, the one cool thing was being able to use this in, and I don't know what the technical name for it is, flex mode or whatever it is, but it's um, uh, like I could use my Teams up top. Like I could go into a, a Teams. See, I got a team meeting today. I can go join that. And then I can open this up in split screen. And let's say I need my calculator to look over things while we're going in the important team meeting. And I set it up like this, right? And I'm over here. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, give me, I need $10 million uh, uh, wired to me immediately. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Close. Goodbye. Give me, give me a duffel bag full of 10 million in cash. Goodbye. Close it on him. I'll close it. Hang up on him. Um, so I did, that was kind of cool. I've used that maybe, you know, two, three times. The, the thing of it is, is, you know, you're still getting just a regular screen. So you can use the split screen, but you got a 6.7 inch screen. So the, the, the inner screen on this isn't even as big. Um, it's not as big as the iPhone uh, Pro Max, 14 Pro Max. It's not as big as the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So by the time you open this phone, you're basically running a regular phone, right? So when you split screen, it's cool, but it's not like using the split screen on a fold where you get the two big, beautiful screens, right? Where you've got your, uh, where you've got whatever, uh, you know, I got my app pair set up here. YouTube and Reddit, for example, when you've got your two beautiful screens, right, that you can flip, do whatever with, right? This thing is still a regular phone. Um, so when you when you use a split screen, they're both going to be small screens, but it's a cool feature. It's cool to be able to do this. Um, so let me close this up. So overall, um, a couple of thoughts on this phone. Uh, 
this thing doesn't take up a lot of space. It's got a cool, it's got a stylish feel to me. So, so I'm going to say this and I, and I don't mean this in any way, uh, uh, a good or bad, but if you're a girl or if you're a dude that likes to accessorize, uh, my girl and I talk about this all the time. This is kind of funny. Us dudes, you know, if we're stylish dudes, we don't really have a lot of accessories uh, that we wear. Uh, us guys, we got our polo shirts, we got our button-up shirts. They don't really give us a lot of choice of style, right? So if you're someone who likes to match and style up, if you're a girl that likes to, uh, you know, pull this cute, stylish little thing out of your purse, I kept thinking this would be perfect for that. If my girl my, if wasn't on iPhone, um, um, she's she's on Apple. Um, that's what she likes. That's the phone she likes. Uh, I, I would totally be getting this for her because, you know, she could pull this out. It, it's stylish. It looks like a little uh, makeup case, if anything. It doesn't look like a phone. And then it unfolds and you can use this as a phone. And when you're done, you fold it up. And this this looks, you know, it's shiny and it looks, it's so styling. Um, so, uh I love that about it. Um, one of the negatives about it, it's hard to find the, the functionality for it. And let me tell you exactly what I mean. Um, what I mean is like the fold is a regular phone, the outer screen, you're using it as a regular phone and it unfolds into a big tablet. So it's functional right here, right? It's functional as a regular phone and it's functional when you unfold it into a big old screen when you want to watch your media or do whatever, right? Um, this thing, it's kind of, it's a regular phone when it's unfolded. So you're using it as a regular phone. But then it folds up into a smaller phone, into a phone that's slightly less functional. Because it's like, yeah, I love this screen and I love that you can do everything on here. Um, but you're realistically, you're not going to work on this phone on the outer screen. You're not going to do a lot of your things on the outer screen. And one thing I like about these folds is if you're like, okay, I'm sending a simple text. I'm checking my, my calendar, whatever. I'll do it on the outer screen. And then when it, okay. I got to answer a couple of emails and go into a spreadsheet. So let me, let me open this up and let me get to work, right? Let me get to, let me get my big boy pants on and go to work on the big screen here. You're not ever going to have a case where you're like, okay, I'm using this phone. Let me close this thing up and go to work. Except if you're running, right? And that's where the compact feel of it comes in. But as far as functionality on this second screen, it's cool to have, but, 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 I didn't find myself using it very much except for some very simple features. If I get a text message, if I get a notification, I can then open it up and go into the real phone, right? Um, so as far as the form factor, uh, it, it did grow on me. I, it did grow actually on how it felt in my hand and how compact it was walking around carrying it in my pocket. I, um, I, I did like that. I didn't like it at first, but it did grow on me. This thing does feel comfortable and nice in your hand. And I absolutely loved flipping it open and closed. I loved, I loved flipping it, flipping it open and closed. Um, it just, it has a good feel to it. And I was doing that almost as a, as a OCD thing. Um, so as far as everything wrapped in, um, the specs on this thing are, are not going to be your top of the line right? The specs are not top of the line specs. The specs are more closer to mid range, but this phone's not going to fail you. It's going to do whatever you need it to do. Like I said, these things are important to me because I work on my phone and I play on my phone and I do everything on my phone. So for me, this device has to work because I, again, I use it for work. I use it for my livelihood, right? I, I, I Like I said, I'm in sales. So this thing is going to get you there, but it's not the top of the line, biggest, baddest, biggest, you know, uh, big Bertha uh, specs. So the bottom line on this phone is this. If you're used to major flagships, if you're using the biggest, baddest iPhone, the biggest, baddest Galaxy, uh, uh, you know, that has the top of the line cameras, top of the line specs, this is going to be a step down for you. This is going to be a step, step down for you, right? If you've never owned a folding phone or a flipping phone, this right here is a good, reasonably priced, it's a thousand bucks. It's a reasonably priced uh, entry into the field. If you have been curious about it, uh, if you've been curious about the folds or the flips, this is absolutely the year to get it. And this is the year to get it because of this big uh, uh, front screen. So I wouldn't go cheap and get the last year's version for this particular use case. I would get this this Flip 5 because they finally did the screen on it and, and, and you can use this this nice and it just looks cool laying there. Um, so, so if you've never used one, um, this is going to be a nice entry to it, and this is um, uh, the year to buy it. So, so the bottom line is, if you're used, if you like the bigger flagship, uh, uh, huge slab phones that that run everything max and have the max camera, this might be a bit of a disappointment, a bit of a novelty for you. Um, but if you've never used a flip phone um, or a folding phone, uh, I recommend you guys try this thing. It's kind of cool. 
Um, all right, man. We'll be back uh, 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 with more videos. Uh, thanks for watching.